This is our annual pumpkin project. His name is Clive. And this year we've replaced the 8x8 LED matrix display eyes for these round, snazzy LCD display modules. And it's got, it's got colour, it's round more like an eye. We also have the addition of a little artificial flame created by another 8x8 matrix display. You can do this yourself this year. It's mm -hmm. still time to get hold of the little round display modules. That circuit's so easy to just pop into a pumpkin and you're ready to rock and roll. And the code's all open source, so we'll give that to you as well. Links will all be in the description. Let's just take a little trip down memory lane to look at past versions of Clive. Nine years ago, Clive version one started out with these blocky 8x8 LED matrix eyes. And this was the birth of Clive, each year replacing his pumpkin head, but with the same Raspberry Pi brain inside. Fast forward to three years ago, where we finally updated Clive. And as me, three years ago, is about to tell you, there were a few inconveniences that just needed to be addressed. There were a few inconveniences. Um, Clive was running off a Raspberry Pi and the pie was inside the pumpkin. When the pie was plugged in, the pie took a while to boot up and come to life. As he's already mentioned, we also had to plug it in as well. Yeah, and it was a bit fiddly to get the script to run as soon as the pie had booted up. Times have moved on, and now we're going to use a Raspberry Pi Pico microcontroller. Instead of the pie. Yeah, which is a lot smaller, it will boot up immediately, um, and we can just power it off a couple of AA batteries, which would be great. And great it was. That's what we did. We carved out a new head for Clive, updated the circuit and the code, which is all open source, by the way, and then just entered the day there for a bit. Do you think it worked? I hope so, but I saw your mouth move. I saw you blink loads of times. Um, the pumpkins definitely had their fun that year. That same year, we discovered this nifty PIR sensor. So I'll just let Aldos demonstrate how we incorporated that into our pumpkins. And we've improved that by adding in a PIR sensor. Which is in the nose and mouth, if you can see it in there. But if this is outside and someone walks past the street, so either walk across. It sends movement and the eyes are turned on. Should we try that in the dark? Yeah, so turn the lights off. Okay, walk past. Of course, the older versions of Clive that you've just seen, you can still make. We've got a video showing you all the circuits for the I2C connections and SBI connections of the Matrix display. Got all the codes, show you how to adjust the codes to fit yep. your desired, desired result for your version of Clive. So feel free to make either version, any mm. version of Clive. Just we'll link the, those videos in the description as well. The core of Clive is a Raspberry Pi Pico. You can pick this up for a couple of pounds under the price of a Starbucks coffee. Along with the, the two eyes, you can also get a couple of these for... The price of the Starbucks coffee. Yeah, outside. again. And then everything else, just pens. pence. And this is just a relatively cheap as well, just a few the pounds. L it's the L8x8 LED matrix display, which is found in our word clock. And you can also buy these off our shop on Etsy, so links will be in the description. Yep. All of this, though, we'll have some links downstairs to our Amazon store. Downstairs, down in the description. Oh, yeah. Um, um, super affordable. And yep. all the code is open source as well. Yep, code we'll is free. down below as well. Um, also, you mentioned that the flame is mm from our word clock. So yes. if you've bought our word clock, just deassemble it you've for Halloween. You've got the Raspberry Pi Pico, it, you've got the matrix yeah, display. It comes with the Pico, so you're halfway there. If you've not looked or heard of our word clock, if you if you like this video, then that would be a good product for you, I believe. So it's go little, check that out. Yeah, go check that out. We've got videos on that. Um, you can get the white faceplate or we've got a black faceplate as well. The great thing about the Raspberry Pi Pico is it can be powered and power all of the circuitry by two, just two AA batteries. But of course you could use a portable charger, portable power bank, or just plug it into the wall. We found the portable power banks a sweet spot though. We had plans to make this into a kit for Halloween, but as all good plans, you know, um, time caught up with us. So. Yeah, so, but that does mean it gives us a whole year to improve and brainstorm and Design. improve Clive and upgrade him even more so the kit is even better. Maybe make this look more, less like spaghetti and brains. Anywho, a huge shout out to one of our subscribers, Mark Olsen, who's helped us out a ton. He gave us the money for Charlie Bear. And he's been helping me recently design custom matrix displays and things like that using KiCad. And his knowledge has been invaluable. He said the only way to pay him back is by passing on my knowledge to you guys. So look forward to that in the future. Hopefully I'll be releasing some videos on what I've been learning with him. So yeah. Excited. Exciting stuff. So 
on that note, happy Halloween, guys. Mm -hmm. um, make sure Clive doesn't go rogue, as we'll show you later. Um, and have a beautiful day. Bye-bye. Bye. What's this? Clive. Clive, no. What are you doing? What are you doing? No, those aren't for you. Um, hello? Um, hi. Um, what are you doing? But those are quite expensive treats. They're not for you, they're for the children. Can, can I have, can I have one please? Can I have one? Can I have one please? <laughs> ow, ow, it bit me, almost. I can have one, can I have one? Ah, okay, 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 bye. Have a lovely evening. Bye bye. Good night. Okay. Well, I'm go I'm gonna leave you now. I have to come out. Okay.